Welcome back guys! It is the 1st of February. Manchester United plays Blackburn Rovers one fourth place. And United looking a bit vulnerable here. Still without Charlie Austin, Peter Schmeichel, Paul Gascoigne, David Beckham, Ryan Giggs. Tommy Smith and Neil Ferdinand and with that dowdy match against Liverpool looming United we want to try and get as many of those guys back as possible we take a look at the starting lineup today Tuan Zebe and Bellingham ah you guys are dead to me the silver is going to come into the, into the, into the bench here um, what to do, what to do? Michael Carrick. Come on, the Park Tree song will start ahead of Jaden Sancho. Um, Shay Gibbon will start. Thomas Yipiec. On the bench, Paul Pogba will start ahead of Eve Ander. And. Michael Carrick. No, I cannot, in good faith, keep you ahead of Roy Keane. So I will keep you on the bench. And we are stressed to the limit, guys. These guys who are not up for the game, and there are guys who can't make the game. And that is pretty much my whole squad. Blackburn Rovers, Mario Gomez there again. Leading line, Kim Knight on the, right, on the left. Juan Cuadrado on the right. Luis Hopi. Attacking midfielder. Is that Harry Winks in the defensive midfield? I think it is that Harry McGuire! Ex United man! Captain today for Blackburn Rovers. Manchester United losing last time out to Chelsea and they'll be hoping to get something out of this game against Blackburn Rovers. Okay, here we go. Manchester United at Old Trafford. Chase. Blackburn Rovers. Lead now at the top, cut down to just two points. And United have got to hang on. Until they start getting some of the players back. So, what can we do here today, guys? Manchester United against Blackburn Rovers. Let's get straight into it. Rashford to kick off. One glance and you know where we are. One of the most recognizable and again, Harry Winks is in there quickly on to Keane. And United really just haven't been the cohesiveness that was there early in the season that you see there. They lift. Penalized. United were playing some really good cohesive football at the start of the season, you know. Um, and you'd think it, these are, it's these intangibles that happen in the game. Earlier in the season, my man runs on the ball and teammates are making good runs into space. Um, oh, and that's what they went all the way through and nobody picked it up. Um, you'll see your AI partners lose their AI markers so you're able to pass to them in space if there's a 50-50 challenge to be had you see that your players invariably come out quite well and go, oh, it's just small and stuff like that your passes where there's a chance it could hit a defender and a chance it could not when your team is playing well the pass will actually get past the AI defender you saw earlier there from Chris Smalling just hit the man and the back. So there's these little really intangible moments that happen really that uh, when your team isn't playing well the things that you take for granted that were going your way and Lewis Hoppy here has gotten away from his man and a good shot. So you know, I'm just going to repeat it here, and some people call it scripting, um, little hidden code in the game, 
that I think all, all, all games kind of have to kind of equalize the skill level. Where the Soba United team kind of ran away with the league and they just implemented like some sort. And United, oh my goodness! That's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, Gomez is strong in the A, I'm not going to deny that, but. My man who was up there for that challenge header, but really it was might as well have been invisible. Oh, look, it's, it's often and Mario Gomez scores against United again. Look at the corner, the short one taken to Cuadrado. Got past Scholes. Lobbed it in and Gomez almost unmarked there. De Ligt got up with him but didn't make a meaningful challenge. Cuadrado delivered that beautifully. And a man of Mario Gomez's skill in the air was always going to finish that. And United are going down again. A 1 0 lead established. Surprise, and surprise. United. Delivering and rough patch continues. Manchester United are in this rotten habit of ah, but he's soon now. Wins that one back. Tries to find Rashford, and he does. Rashford's got past his man. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Tried to lob it over the keeper from an acute angle and didn't trouble the keeper at all. He did it perfectly and just plucked that one out of the air only with a smirk on his face. And here's Hopi again now. Finds Gomez back to Hopi. Quadrado. Nicely done by Pompa and the referee says no, no, no. That is a foul. Naughty Frenchman. How is that a foul for crying out loud? Anyway, United now with the backs against it. Only completed 40% of the passes matches to United. And the shot there, Gibbon picks it up. He doesn't need a second invitation, even from that United have got to find a goal from somewhere now. They haven't been as free scoring since they lost Charlie Austin. Blackburn. Quadrado again. We see they can deliver a good cross. Keen to Castanar. What can he do? Castanar with a long pass out to Dustin Clivert. Oh, that could have been. Well, you know, given the way things are going, got to try something a little different here. And Gomez is through again and he finishes. Oh my goodness. And they're at it again. Mario it's Gomez time. scores a brace here just before half time and United. Well, I think there's a few the heads are dropping, side. guys. The heads he are dropping. Yeah, he was on. Lazy swing of the boot there. And really all first time passes. <laughs> it's one of those unstoppable sequences. You know, you look at the pass from Maguire. First time from Quadrado. First time from Holtby. And just one touch from Gomez. Clean through on goal. There was... Really, United just stood by and watched that one happen. Could not get involved. And that's a very really dirty boot, lad. Stop putting your lips on that. Coronavirus. So that's two now without reply. Very keen. The turning of the screw See United now. Keen scolds, finds Castanar. Castanar! Oh! Couldn't shake the attentions of the centre back. Scores now, trying to find Park Ji Song. Gets a yard on his man, crosses it in. Castanar! Oh! Gets his head in there dangerously. Pogba loses out Manchester United. 2 0 down. The Blackburn Rovers here. Could it be they are about to get knocked off the top of the table? Hopefully, Rodrum are having a tough day as well. Who knows? Who knows? And Marcus Rashford now. Oh, couldn't quite get a hang of that. Blackburn Rovers are looking a lot more comfortable on the ball. United aren't able to bother them. Keane finds Castanel, skips his man. Nice work from Castanel, but he's going to have a lot to do here. If he's going to shovel this Blackboard Rovers defense, no foul given. Oh, Pogba. 
Got as well, Paul Pogba. What can Kyle deliver? Yeah, Arash was in there. Oh, no go, no go, no go. He is smalling now. What can he do? So he has to find Keane. Easily, easily. Defended there. Rashford's in there, oh! And the referee saw that. Rashford, I went for the ball to be honest. I did not go there with the intention to foul the, referee, the, the goalkeeper, but it was there to be won. If I won that tackle... And you see, it's, it's things like that when, when the game is going against you. If you're not on a high patch at the moment and, and everything was going well, that tackle would have been accurate. I would have gone for nothing but the ball. But just uh, to compound United's poor form at the moment, you saw Rashford took completely the wrong angle on that tackle, got nowhere near the ball, and got a lot of the goalkeeper. This one, yeah, I think it's going to be overhit. <laughs> Yeah, it was over it. I was not trying for goal there. Okay, United 2 0 down. We're not out of it, guys. Come on. We're not out of it yet. Blackburn looking very relaxed on the ball. Mario Gomez. Oh, he's got it back. Scholes finds Keane. What can he do against Roy Keane? Running well here, Roy Keane. Good, powerful run. Tries to get it forward to Castanar and in the end doesn't get it through. And you can see Blackburn Rovers now sitting. My goodness. All 11 men back. What do we do? It's Keen. Gets past his man. Blackburn Rovers sitting. Everybody back. You know what? I'm going to go all out attack and see what happens here. Maybe if I get everybody forward, I can maybe got a gap in this back line like this I can rush them and maybe get rushed myself yeah smalling now trying to keep up with Knight who is a very very pacey player England international Kieran Knight and Chris Smalling does well there can scold initiate attack here Roy Keane gets that forward to Rashford yes Clivert now United Clivert oh finds Pogba can Pogba get the cross in? Yes, he can! And there's nobody there. Rokin. And United desperately trying to get the ball back. I don't think. Look at how well Blackburn are playing here. They're just passing it out of trouble. And United left chasing shadows again. Castanar. Clyver to Pogba. Oh, crying out loud, man. It's Clyver again. Playing an attacking formation, but there's nobody making any runs here. Nice pass from Pogba. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And that. Is that a hit? It's a penalty. Yes, it is. United get a penalty late on here. Probably too late to change the result, I imagine. Clyver did well. Just inside the box. The referee deemed it a penalty. Who's gonna gun, take for penalty? Castanar. Okay, let's go there. Oh, and it's <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, would you believe it? Why not? Why not? He hit it hard and low into the bottom corner, and the goalkeeper saved it. I suppose that's par for the course. The way this game's gone. Um, Castaner misses a penalty, or oh, has a penalty saved quite brilliantly actually. Pogba's up there, gets the header, Pogba, and cleared off the line. I think that will be the last action of the game. United have lost two in a row now. Blackburn Rovers getting the win at Old Trafford. Matthias De Ligt and Roy Keane, and you can see the cohesiveness in the United side just starting to fall away a little bit. Mario Gomez did well for Blackburn. Fourth place Blackburn Rovers. Gomez turned well. Shea Given did. Not too badly to save that, although it was a comfortable height. 
Those hopi I got away from the lucht and she given. As it turns out, was a very busy man today. And he has a short corner here. Quadrado got past his man, delivered the cross in. And Gomez got gold side of his man and made no mistake. Really, if you look at it, quite simple from Blackburn Rovers. Played it short to Quadrado, who just made space for the cross. And the United defense caught in 6 and 7 there. Here tonight having a go. Blocked there by Smalling, who was also a very busy man tonight. And then, just before half time, a series of first time passes sees Mario Gomez through. And a confident finish pass Shea given. And United did try to muster some offense to no great effect in the end. Castanar there coming close and the goalkeeper who had, I think had a pretty good game. You can see here especially saving this penalty, a well hit penalty going into the bottom corner. And again save there. There was no way. United were going to score past Trot today, he stopped everything, so United, 4 shots, all on target, no goals, United lose again. So elsewhere, Spurs defeat Chelsea, Villa lose to Watford, Forrest defeating Wolves, Newcastle win again, Liverpool defeating Leeds, City fall to Everton, so that would do their relegation fight a big help. Rotherham defeat Luton Town and that means Manchester United have been knocked off the top of the table with their fifth defeat of the season. Rotherham are top of the table guys. And this injury problem continues. Next up for Manchester United will be a home match, I think. Liverpool won and we lost. While it isn't the situation we're hoping for, the stakes are high enough, so we have to win our match before the derby. Pressure from the chairman here. United know they need to go into the derby with a winning momentum. But just isn't going their way right now. United face Burnley at Turf Moor before hosting Liverpool at Old Trafford. I'll catch you guys for that soon. Cheers.